My presentation focuses on artificial neurons and how the famous metal ally Perosca can emulate one uh, of the most important functionality of the brain. Previously, the, the previous uh, speaker talked about this phenomenon, which is long term potentiation. Um, uh, indeed, artificial neurons uh, are one of the most fundamental parts of neuromorphic computing and, and engineering. Uh, one is, uh, in fact, uh, uh, also is uh, one of the most uh, innovative branch of research to advance the bottlenecks in, in artificial intelligence. And uh, the road ahead for this uh, for the artificial neurons network is bright by the human brain, considered significantly advanced uh, in the understanding of operational mechanisms, communication, and functionality inspired by the human brain of the of the nervous system. Uh, one of the most, in order to develop emerging circuit for memory application, uh, one of the most uh, complex structure in the human brain is the the synapses. Okay, uh, because which rely on the presence of ions and neurotransmitters that control the delay. In the in the response, um, uh, it's necessary also to say that um, uh, neural connection are highly sensitive to to activity induced patterns. Uh, this is called or known now like uh, synaptic plasticity, uh, which is training or weakening under high or low frequency stimulation, uh, under which underlie the ability of uh, of uh, memorize, learn, and definitely the cognitive future functions. Of the human brain. Here is possible here to see the connection of two of two neurons. Here the the the, the, the direction of the of the information, the communication, and here is the synapses, like, which is the connection this between this the, between these two neurons. Okay, this um, synapses or this uh, study of the long term uh, about or on the long term potential is correlated with the action potential, which is the most famous uh, signal in. In neuroscience, and here it's possible to see the long-term potentiation, okay, like which uh, quantify how the synaptic connection is improved with the passage of the time. Um, I think probably a reasonable amount of, of the audience know about them, but for this reason, I will talk. I will talk quickly about about. Um, this for the perovskite calcium uh, on tantalin. This material is a mineral named after perovskite, but uh, any material with the uh, crystal structure with the ABX3. And, and this shape current sharing is considered one of the perovskite family. Um, for the electronics device, we select a uh, metal ally perovskite, but uh, unfortunately, the locality of doping, electrochemical reaction triggered by, by ion migration, generate very bad effects for a lot of applications. Applications, solar cells, uh, LEDs, uh, photodetectors, and um, uh, it. But uh, at this point, it's necessary to say that uh, it exists a unique case uh, of exploding ion migration as a tool uh, to design energy emerging circuit uh, or energy memory technologies, such as a for information uh, storage and, and computing. Um, at this point, with these two uh, complex explain the perovskite and the um, and the uh, and the long term potentiation, we are going to visualize from the experimental point of view this long term potentiation. Okay, in this optoelectronic device, uh, at the first uh, at the first point, we develop current voltage measurement, and we obtain this uh, JB current, which is appear the inverted hysteresis. One previously explained uh, the inverted hysteresis consists of uh, that the current uh, measure in the forward direction is lower than that. Of uh, recorded in in reverse direction, it's appear uh, in the it's a bipolar. Okay, it's appear for positive uh, voltage and for negative values of voltage. Okay, uh, another experiment, uh, the, the key experiment for to study the long term potentiation is to apply voltage poles. Okay, and measure the current. Okay, and one obtain this uh, potentiation. Okay. In response to a train of rectangular spores, but uh, in this graph it's impossible to 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 see nothing, and we uh, by a magnifying glass uh, in an expanded uh, view, it's possible to see this transient current response. That this is the objective here. Explain this this waveform. Um, it's appear very different characteristics in this transient response. Uh, if we put a, if we apply a human in view in this part, it's possible to see the negative spikes, which decrease with the passage of the time, with the number of the poles increase. 
is correlated with a very typical artificial uh, neuroplasticity feature. And uh, another important point is comparing these two transient response. Here in the E1 and the E2, it's appear very different transient response. It's appear a transformation in the, in the transient currents. That this is the key on the long-term potentiation. In the next slide, we will explain. Uh, by said, based on the observation of the current response uh, to the pulse ball, it's necessary, but uh, it's a proposal advanced model that tracks that, that tracks that information. We begin this explanation for the main restore uh, for the concept of the main restore. Uh, here we put the voltage input, and again we show the transient response at this very different at, at these well separated time scales. Um, we are going to start from the initial transient current, in which it's appear very different uh, feature. Uh, it's it's uh, we begin for the a discharge uh, a discharge element. And it's appear a uh, transition, a jump discontinuity in the transient current from A to B. This is for uh, I, re, I, I, I drop. This is very typical in electrochemistry and is correlated with uh, series resistance effects. Okay, but it changed here when one in, at the at the leading uh, at the leading edge of the poles have this uh, this magnitude, and it is changed uh, at the trailing edge of the poles. Okay, this is because the series resistance effect is non-linear. Okay. Um, after we see a transition from A to B, the current decrease and this uh, current de this decreasing of the current is possible to correlate it with the charge of, of, of a capacitor. Uh, like the current doesn't decrease uh, toward zero instead of decrease toward a finite value, it's possible to say that it exceeds a conduction pathway represented by this resistance. And finally, we see a rise in the current, uh, that, which is the, the key for the long-term potentiation. And this is attribute for an electrical point of view with a chemical inductive feature, which uh, previously Juan explained. Uh, but this is this is not very complicated to, to obtain this electrical equivalent circuit from this observation in the in the in the current response. The, the key of the long-term potentiation is the transformation of the, mem the memory effect because the device is the same, but the response chain depending on the number of the poles. And the key is explain what happened here because the B point disappear and only happen the, the, the waveform only travel from A to C. The B point disappear. There is only a rise in the current. There is no a decay. And uh, in the in the final of the presentation, we, we, uh, we will explain what is in what consists of these memory effects. Uh, here in the in the right part of the of the slide, we we introduce the, the voltage and risk the voltage control and risk equation. Previously, one explained it's appear it's more or less a conduction polarization uh, equation. It's appear the uh, a charge uh, which is correlated with the capacitor, and it's appear a conduction pathway like which uh, is a f is the uh, function that which explain it or, or it depend on the voltage and uh, x variable which is the key in and restore is the memory effect like which is explained for by a second equation like which depend by this uh, characteristics time like which govern the dynamic is a slow and govern this uh, this dynamic of this variable uh, and finally g is a slow recovery uh, function which uh, also depend on x and u these two equation is non-linear coupled dynamical equation in the style is never on a style equation and more or less and, and the same is is our equivalent or or seems to the equation of hot hot model which is the most famous uh, model uh, in neuroscience to explain the, the biological processes in a neuron from an electrical point of view. And it's, it's similar to this equation of the fifth graph Nabucco model. But these two uh, models uh, have a lot of memory equation, and here we only introduce two equations. Uh, but uh, the key in the in this study is select what is the x variable, okay, the memory variable. And here we select that the x variable is the current through the chemical inductor, okay. We select that this is the memory variable, and based on this assumption, we uh, grind the the conductivity function and the slow recovery, taking into account that the x variable is the current, okay. Um, 
And this point, uh, we develop numerical simulation in order to verify that this, with this model, uh, with this consideration that the X variable is the current through the chemical memory is possible to obtain the same transient response. And from numerical simulation, we obtain a very good agreement between experimental and simulated uh, uh, respond. It's appear again the repetitive capacitive peaks. Okay, uh, in the first in the first initial regime, disappear only decays, and finally at uh, the final transient response, disappear the rise, like which is the the the, the same response that like we observed experimentally. Um, um, if one apply a human in view in this negative part of the current, it appear this this same characteristics that we could probably say in the experimental section that the negative spike in the discharge section uh, when at the east at the instant when the voltage is switched off. Uh, decreases with the passage of the time. And uh, uh, another studies we developed from numerical simulation, we studied the frequency depend characteristics. It's appear long term potential for all these case. We change the frequency. Here we select five hertz. We select, we decrease the frequency and it's appear the same long term potential, but the uh, current saturation. Is different, okay. The long term potentiation when one apply uh, voltage, uh, a train of voltage pole when uh, 100 milliards, the, the potentiation is less prominent than, for example, for the case in, in the red line. Here, the saturation current is more or less three milliamps, and here in the green line is uh, is uh, the current is lower, is two milliamps, okay. The, the, a long-term potentiation is more prominent when one applies a train of voltage poles with high uh, frequency. Uh, at this point, we try to answer the crucial question. That is that, what is the reason for the gradual increase in the device conduction, the simulation of the logical memory? And the key is this graph, okay? The current through the inductor versus the time. The current uh, increase, okay, in the charge processes, but in the discharge processes retain the charge, okay? In the following, um, Charge phase increase again his current and uh, maintain his value in the discharge processes. And here they draw this line. Okay. Uh, obviously, the, the, the initial condition to solve the dynamical equation is different. If one uh, solve the dynamical equation in the time at the time zero, that the current is zero, and the current through the inductor material uh, uh, is different. The, the length scale is different. Uh, the one consider the time when it's equals to four seconds. The uh, current through the inductor now is one point more or less five milliamps, and it's uh, have a, a, a very a, a, a significant impact in the in the waveform, the transient, and the formation of the of the transient response and this this increase of the DC conductance in the in the resistor. Uh, now, in the following slide, we are going to try to explain this, this concept from an electrical point of view, taking into account electrical circuits. Um, in the charge processes disappear, which previously we explained, it's appear in the initial transit of this transition. At short time scales, uh, happens the charge of the process, the charge of the capacitor, and at long time scale, the rise in the current happens the charge of the chemical inductor, okay? Uh, at long term potential, happen the same. Uh, also, the difference is the, the, the difference is the, the current in, uh, in the chemical inductor, the initial condition is higher, higher, higher uh, when the number of the poles increase, okay? But it's happened also the, the, the charge of the capacitor, which is invisible, and uh, uh, when one applies uh, higher values in the, in the, in the poles, in the, in the pulses of the train, and uh, it's, uh, it's happened this charge of the chemical inductor. In the discharge processes is the key, okay? The chemical inductor is invisible, only is discharged the capacitor and the uh, inductor retains its charge, maintain his value of current. And when uh, in the subsequent uh, voltage poles, uh, the initial condition, uh, okay, when, when the the, when the voltage pole is switched on, uh, is different to zero and increase with the passage of the voltage. Uh, from an experimental point of view, we develop additional scam to study the memory separation and the pulse and the pulse stimulation. Uh, we study the frequency dependent characteristics, and we uh, obtain or corroborate the result predicted uh, theoretically from the American simulation. Happened that. Uh, that the long-term potentiation is less prominent when one apply lower uh, frequency in the voltage poles. Okay, it's happened the the, the long-term potentiation, but it's not uh, the saturation view. It's not the same. Okay, it's one obtains higher values when one apply higher frequency in the in the train of voltage poles. 
And a, and a final additional scheme is a study the resultant transient voltage in response to uh, current uh, a train of voltage a, a train of current pulse. Okay, we interchange the input and the output. Now the input is the is the current, the output is the voltage, and we study this behavior of the band restart changing the current. Okay, through the JB curve, and we obtain different behavior. Okay, when one apply uh, lower values in the current, disappear. Uh, an increase and the orange lines happen the same um uh, for for the red blue and green line it's happened that uh, at short time scales appear the rise here the rise and finally a decay this is correlated with the same with the capacitor at short time scale of the inductor um at long time scale but the different in this in, with respect to the previously explained uh, scenario in 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 this uh, experiment is the uh, is the following the 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 current response, for example, in the sixth pulse is the same than in the second pulse. It's always the same. Now we have a static behavior in contrast to the dynamic effects observed in the long term potentiation when the input uh, is uh, this is the voltage and the output is the, is the current. But what is the reason? Um, uh, the reason is that the external current, uh, the input, limits the memory pattern of the chemical inductor and it's impossible to increase his current because it's limited by the input. Um, uh, finally, the, this is the, the final experiment in this in this in this work is uh, to develop impedance measurement. But uh, previously to explain that, it's necessary. <clears throat> To point out that in impedance analysis uh, or in impedance measurement are developed under under small signal condition, linear working condition. At the previously experiment are developed under large amplitude perturbation. Okay, it's very different. It's not mathematical equivalent. Impedance measurement can help to explain some observation, but it's not possible to explain or to corroborate the the result from a mathematical equivalent point of view. This is not the same. This is not exactly the same measurement. Uh, we obtain more or less the same characteristics than in solar cell for the detector uh, that uh, uh, the Nyquist plot at low voltage uh, show two capacitive semicircles. Uh, the, this is the high, the high frequency feature correlated with bulk uh, processes. Here, the low frequency feature correlated with interfactor processes, more or less. Um, the, the, the size of the Nyquist plus decreased with the bias point. And when one uh, applied high, bias, high voltage in the, uh, in the line with the bias point, obtain this feature, OK, like which is in the Nyquist plot uh, collapse uh, the real axis. Uh, travel or go below to the fourth quadrant. Um, this is uh, drawn a, 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 neg a negative capacitor feature or chemical inductive feature, like which, which is more prominent uh, comparing magnitudes when when the voltage is higher, higher. Okay. Uh, at this point, we can say that impedance data help to explain some observation that uh, in, in the sense of long term potentiation, impedance uh, can explain the time domain observation, for example that the the capacity behavior happen uh, at high frequency in high domain at short time scale at the inductive feature happen at uh, low frequency at low frequency supplementing low frequency at low time scale but only this uh, overall uh, observations um, another uh, characteristic is the more evident potentiation of conductance. The chemical inductive feature is more prominent here when one applies higher voltage in comparison with uh, lower voltage. And in this line, the inexistence of this unique effect at low voltage. If, if one applies a, a train of voltage poles uh, with a height uh, of the poles, uh, of 0 0.2 of 0 0.3, it's impossible to see a lot a long term potentiation because it do, it doesn't happen this chemical inductive feature in the in the transient response. And from our point of view, it exceeds a clear link between these three pot, these three phenomena: the uh, inverted hysteresis in JB Corp, the long term potentiation in time domain, and the uh, chemical inductive feature in impedance analysis. Not it's not equivalent. But all these observations are correlated. Uh, to finalize my presentation, I would like to 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 talk about the conclusions. Uh, that is very simple. Uh, we we summarize with only a phrase. 
uh, that interpassal phenomena in perovskite may result, uh, mirror artificial uh, versions of, of biological neuron processes. This is the key of this of this study. Uh, all the information, figures, uh, equations are explained in, in this in this work, uh, published in neuromorphic computing and, and engineering.